When looking at the greatest horror films of all time, the most influential seems to stem from Roman Polanski's masterpiece, Rosemary's Baby. Rosemary's Baby focuses on a young couple who moved to New York for a new start. Rosemary begs her husband, Guy, to have a baby, and shortly after, Rosemary becomes pregnant. Her slow descent into madness and paranoia lead her to believe that her baby is the spawn of Satan. Rosemary's Baby was director Roman Polanski's first English film, and it is arguably his most famous and successful picture to date, coinciding with Chinatown. What makes Rosemary's Baby extremely effective is the marvelous work by the actors. Mia Farrow, who played Rosemary, is incredibly well suited to the task of creating a naive but determined woman who is dominated in a male-centered 1960s. She has a voice that is ultimately drowned out because of the time period where women were still considered incompetent housewives. Rosemary's Baby has drawn some comparisons to the Charlotte Perkins Gilman short story, The Yellow Wallpaper. The Yellow Wallpaper is about a sick woman who is locked away in her apartment room, surrounded by yellow wallpaper. Her isolation leads to her madness as she begins to see things living in the wallpaper. Rosemary, like the character in Gilman's story, is trapped inside her own apartment with patterned yellow wallpaper. When Rosemary starts to become paranoid that witches are living in their complex, she begins a slow transition to madness. Of course, we find out later in the film that she isn't mad, and there is a witch coven who is attempting to steal her baby for unknown reasons. Rosemary's Baby is a very subtle yet haunting horror film. It is a slow-building story that reaches its insane climax when Rosemary gives birth to a baby boy. The ending scene in the film is iconic, and Roman Polanski handled this beautifully. Rosemary approaches the baby carriage wielding a knife in her hand, determined to look upon her stolen son. What have you done to it? What have you done to its eyes? He has his father's eyes. What are you talking about? Guys, I so normal. What have you done to him, you maniac? Satan is his father, not Guy. Roman Polanski made a smart choice with this scene. He chose not to show the audience what the baby actually looks like to leave the horrific image to our imaginations. But what we know for certain is that it looks hideous judging from Rosemary's protruding eyes and gaped mouth. Rosemary's Baby had some controversy when it came out concerning the rape scene. It was one of the first movies ever to show an explicit rape scene, and the fact that it is Satan who rapes Rosemary is extremely frightening, as she doesn't remember anything because she was drugged by her husband. This is extremely disturbing and makes the film all the more scary. Actress Mia Farrow dedicated herself completely to this role. She had her hair cut short for the movie, she sang the lullaby at the beginning of the film, and she even ate raw liver for a scene in the film. Polanski really knows how to direct his actors and Mia Farrow is the standout. Ruth Gordon, who played Minnie Castavet, the nosy witch neighbor won Best Supporting Actress for this film, which shows the dramatic acting chops for all involved with the project. Rosemary's Baby does something very few films do. Most of the film is shot in one continuous take with very minimal cuts and edits. This was done purposefully to show the audience the claustrophobia 
of Rosemary's Apartment. Rosemary's Baby is loosely part of a trilogy of horror movies dealing with apartment dwelling. The first being Repulsion, followed by The Tenant, and then this film. Roman Polanski adapted this film from the novel of the same name, and the book's author, Ira Levin, said it was the most faithful adaptation that he had ever seen. And for a bit of fun trivia, Rosemary's Baby was born in June 1966. When looked at numerically, it reads 6 slash 66, or 666, which is the number of the beast, or Satan, if you will. Rosemary's Baby was the first film in cinema that focuses on Satan, witches, and devils coming from hell beneath us. It's considered to be the grandmother of Satan-themed films, and it planted the seed of horror and evil that is cemented in films today. The Exorcist and The Omen came after Rosemary's Baby, which were inspired by the Polanski classic. Rosemary's Baby is considered to be one of the most influential horror films of all time. From the surreal, dreamlike images to the paranoia and the Satanist powers that be, Rosemary's Baby offers a slow-building suspense of dark humor and terror in the ultimate realm of screams. The film still holds up extremely well today and is one of the highest rated horror films of all time. So before you go to bed at night and say your prayers, make sure you pray for Rosemary's Baby. I don't believe you. You're both lying. You're lying. It didn't die. You took it. You're lying. You witches. 